Oh, cool. And that one's just stuck completely. <laughs> oh, and I can't sacrifice them either. Oh, okay, very nice. Well, you know, sometimes your zombies just get stuck in midair. Gravity, how does it work? Welcome back, everybody, to Zombie Night Terror. I'm your host, Falcon. This right here is Night of the Lupus. Before we go on, I should know this might be my last episode. We'll see how this plays out. Let me know how you're feeling about the series because I bring this up because I'm enjoying it a lot, obviously. But unfortunately, it's one of those games that does require a lot of trial and error. So sometimes I'll record an episode, I fail the mission, I have to redo it again from scratch over and over and over. So as I mentioned before, I do this as a hobby, so I don't really have all the free time in the world to just sit here and record hours on end in my days. So I gotta find time here and there to kind of like, you know, fit in some recordings. And if I'm recording one single episode of one game for like, you know, my, my majority of free time, then that cuts into my time for everything else on the channel. And at the moment, we're kind of like in a really busy schedule because there's a lot of stuff on the channel at the moment. A lot of good stuff, mind you. So I'm enjoying playing everything, but, you know, that's the reason why I bring this up. This might be the last one. I'll weigh it out and I'll see how we go forward here. This mission, at the very least, I have done in the beta build, so it shouldn't be too difficult. The one afterwards, though, I haven't done that one just yet, so that's going to be where, you know, my big fear comes into play. How long is it going to take me to actually do a mission I have no prior experience with? And how much time is it going to take? So here we have, um, let's see, I've done this before. We cannot get in through here. We have Nightcrawler Man over here, Spider-Man Zombie. He will not climb doors, but he'll climb over, like, say, like, walls just straight up and around, right? We have the leaping ability now, and we have just regular Zambro down here, too. Um, let's see, I guess we'll have to jump over here. So let's make that happen now. Very nice. And technically speaking, we'll just jump to this great kill him. Can't go in through there unless we blow that up. We can break this door down, break that down. We want to come down through here. Okay. This is kind of coming back to me. I do have an understanding how to do this one here. So, jump now. <laughs> oh! Sucks to be you, my friend. Now, for the guys down here, I'm not sure what I want to do with them just yet. But for now, we'll just have them chill. We get a couple more DNA as we go forward. We're of seven of eight. All right. Now, homeboy here should hit this and then turn around. Anything's going to go around. So, what we have to do is make him jump for that one. Crisscross and make you jump, jump. The Mac Tano make you jump, jump. There you go. Yes, I am quoting um, Criss Cross. You guys remember Criss Cross? They were really big. They wore their pants back, uh, you know, backwards. <laughs> That's some old school, early 90s shit right there, dog. Alrighty, so let's see. A lot of Zambros over here. I guess we could probably start coming after these individuals too. So let's turn one of these guys into Spider Zombie Man. These people will flee. I won't be able to get to them. Oh my god, we killed a guy in a wheelchair too. That's terrible. And that's going to be locked off from us. Okay. So I missed the time with this guy's jump here, but that's okay. He'll come around. Let's actually speed time up here a little bit. Mm, Nightcrawler Man will come back around. I don't think he's going to fall back through, right? He'll just kind of um, do his thing? Yeah, he'll do his thing. Alrighty. Now, you, however, do have to get up here. Excellent. Slowly on time. Go forward. Then you jump through here. Alright. And capture these guys. <laughs> just strolling across. Arms waving all over the place. Too bad it's almost going to be over for you, though. Alrighty. So, this here needs to be broken down for... Elevator axis, it does seem. Oh, and for the doors, okay. I getcha. So, here's what we do. We let regular Zambrils deal with these people here. Not going anywhere, anyway. And we use some spider zombie man all the way over here. Okay, and he'll fall down through this side. We break this down. Alrighty, very good. So far, so good. How you doing? Just dropping on in, don't mind me. Alright, so now these doors are down, and we could get these people over here too. There's the blow-up feature, so with the little blow-up thing, we should be able to get probably these people here, I'm going to say, huh? Okay. So, Nightcrawler dude's right here. We have no um, overlords to turn him around either. What do you got to say here, April? Reports indicate that crawlers can jump between walls, making them more versatile and harder to manage than previously thought. Yeah, I've been doing that actually, as a matter of fact. Now, he'll turn around, and then we'll just have him jump through here. Alrighty. No, no, hey! Turn around. There you go. I think that's a good use of DNA. So everybody over here is dead. Um, as soon as we get the little blow-up feature, we'll have one of these zombies just blow up over here and get those individuals, and that'll be just about it, huh? Uh, let's just go ahead and use a Nightcrawler 
Oh, we need some more DNA. Oh, we'll sacrifice. I don't need all these zombies here. Sacrifice one of you. April, this is not... April, this is not the time. There you go. So, that's not going to allow me to get through over here. Um, You're going to go up and around. Okay, that's fine. I just don't want you guys to exit yet, because if you exit with one of the crawlers, it's instantly level over. And I want to get the special here, because I do, I do believe we have the access to it. Alright, so here comes Spider Dude. Come through here, and then we'll make the jump across this side. That should nail it. Perfect. Alrighty. Now, the people up here... Hmm, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Well, I mean, yeah, I see it. I see it now. We'll probably do it with this guy when he turns back. Assuming he turns back, he should. Yeah, because we have to come in through the grate here, I would say. Alright, he'll turn around. No, he goes through. Straight on through. Okay. Well, oh, here's my Nightcrawler, dude. Perfect. Let's have you jump through here. And it will make a jump through this side. Hopefully, without banging your head up there. Yeah! Okay, nice. And get on through. To the other side. Yeah! Now, we do have the sacrifice thing. Or, not the sacrifice, but the little... Oh, the zombies are falling through their dead. That's fine. I don't really care about them anyway. So now, what we have is, like... Five oh, I forgot about you guys in here, huh? How the hell do I get... Oh, I guess just... There's no other way to get you guys, right? Other than having to infect one of you. Correct? I can't blow out through those doors. Yeah, so one of these guys has to be infected. So let's go with you over here. And all we have to do is just um, get individuals here. And then zombies will start splatting down. All we have to do is turn one of them into like a crawler. We just need to get one through there. So let's blow up door... Now, and are you going to jump? Are you going to allow me to chow down? They allow me to chow down. Okay. Now, you guys have to splat because I need to get this person before we're out of here, I think. We got him. Okay. So now, let's turn you into Nightcrawler Man and mission over. All humans dead. I think we got the special with this one, too. Nightcrawler's going to be getting out of here. Yeah, I think that's good. Exit. Challenge failed head anatomy? Why? I thought you had to, like, uh... Hmm. I guess I misread that one. Now this one, I have no idea what to expect. Other than probably just using more crawlers. Listen up, squad. One of those things escaped up the wall. He could be anywhere in this building. So keep your eyes peeled and shoot on sight. Oh, good. I hate the shield guys so much. Like, you normally have to really um, focus on using the crawlers to sneak up on them so they can actually kind of like stealth around. But um, they're still really goddamn difficult to bring down. Help a crawler escape the hospital grounds this time, we mean it. Rush hour. Escape in less than three minutes. Oh, yeah, it's not going to happen at all. <laughs> I'll tell you that much right now. All right, so let's see how this one plays out here. Oh, boy. We have one crawler. Lots of humans around. There's going to be a lot of cops and dudes with shields after him. It's going to be a really tough one. So they have one to start off with. They could turn crawlers. They could jump, and I could sacrifice. And it does seem like um, I could turn a few of these guys into my favor. Now, we have two options here. Jump through here and pick these guys off first. We'll come down here first and pick them up. If we come down here first, we'll get the sprinting ability, which could be useful, I guess. Um, so I think we go down first, right? Let's just go down first. What the hell is this? It's a fan over here. Fan that is connected to that. Oh, I guess we have to turn you off at some point. Oh, okay. There's an explosion thing. Alrighty. Might have to use overloads to toss some zombies around, too. Alrighty. If I'm a bit uh, more quiet for this episode, I do apologize, but I've never done it before, so now I gotta be a bit more attention to detail as opposed to just kind of chit chatting away over here. So, we'll turn you guys, break this door down, pick up the sprinting feature. Well, who's coming through here now? Oh, good, a guy with a gun. That's great. That's a good start. Don't open that door. <laughs> Don't open that door, you piece of shit. 
Do we? Oh, there's another shield guy coming up over on that side, too. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. It's an overlord up here. Do we come and pick these dudes off now, or do we just try to level out the first part? It's a shotgun dude. Oh, there's two shield guys, actually. Oh, fuck me. This is going to be tough. Let's try to break this down. Here comes shield guy. What all we need to do, though, for shield guy is just jump over him with crawler man. And then he'll go after these guys, right? Preferably, what I would love is we could just hound them. But I don't think it's going to happen. It'll basically just go crazy on us, to my knowledge, yeah? Yeah. You need a lot of them to actually bring them down without the shield. That sucks quite a bit. Let me sacrifice a few of you if I can. Here comes the guy with the gun as well. Now crawl... Oh, we got him! Okay, there you go. You just have to overwhelm him if he has a shield. Otherwise, you want to sneak up behind him with a crawler. Now this fucker, though, that's a different story. Automatic gun. We have to wait till he reloads. Okay. This worries me a lot. He's already taking shots. So... Maybe dash and jump? Yeah! Got him good. Very good. Now, over here, we can essentially overwhelm him. There is a guy with a shotgun here, but... We can still overwhelm, and we have a couple of DNA for a dash, so... As long as we dash... I don't think Shotgun Man should be too much of a problem. Yeah, we got him. All right, good. This first level is now under control for the most part. Whew. And we got the Tosser ability. Alrighty. Now, next level. One level down. Okay, next level. Uh, we need Crawler to jump up. Luckily, we could also sacrifice a few of these guys for some more DNA, so... Let's turn you around by having to jump this side, and this will turn you back, and we'll come up through here. My other question is, you guys will be just basically walking back and forth over here, huh? Okay, that's fine. I'll have, like, a, a few of you follow me around, or just sacrifice you. Now, you come up through here. Break this down. It's another Overlord ability over there, too. Which I guess will just work for extra DNA for us. Oh, no! There's another shield guy coming up over there. And another shield guy up here, too. Oh, fudge. Okay, 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 okay. It's all fine, it's all fine. Um, hmm. I gotta play a numbers game again. Or try to get that jump as we tried to do the first time around. He's gonna basically kill this guy right now. Unfortunately for us, all of our dudes are, like, heading down this way at the moment. I could turn an overlord now and have them turn around. But, uh... Man. I hate the shield guys so much. All right, let's try the Overlord thing. You turn him around. Let's see if I could just get... Ah, didn't work. Okay. Is he going to chill there? Because if he's, if he's going to chill there, I could just have this guy turn over and just keep him here until we're ready to attack him. Maybe get a crawler that's over here to jump across and just fucking land on him. That could be good, too. Oh, he's coming over, all right. All right, good. Got a few jumps around. And here's what we do. Here's what we do right now. Turn homeboy that's coming back around, and we kill him that way. Let me sacrifice you and you. Keep him there. Got him! Got him! Hoo-hoo! All righty. Good plan. Good plan. They're people, they're stuck over there, too. So now, I uh, just sacrifice homeboy to make sure we get that group. Mm, this door can't be taken down. They're going to bounce off of this one. We need to get the crawler up there now, right? Or we can just make the crawler go through here. Yeah, we can do that. So, you guys break this down. We'll probably have an overlord over here or something to stop the rest of you from falling to your death. This guy is no longer needed. These humans are basically fucked the moment those zombies get to them. Crawler, you're going up. And this door... Uh, let's keep it there for now. Alright. Now, that should be enough for you to ambush homeboy. There you go. Cool. So, now we bring this down. We have to bring this down to stop the fan, and then we could probably toss somebody over here to get the explosion. Okay. Very good so far. Definitely a lot more going on with this stage, but um, it's not too difficult if you just kind of pay attention, which is easier said than knowing you're talking over here constantly. 
Um, alrighty, so... You hang out there for a while. I just need to bring this crawler up first. Now, we have Shield Guy there still. He, he worries me. And then we have these two over there. But these guys I can even ignore. They're not part of my... my Part of my quest now at this point is not to kill everybody, because the optional goal was to just get out of here in three minutes, which has already been past that time. It'll turn you around. Bring this down. Okay, this guy is coming over here. Ooh, this could be problematic. Is he going to come all the way across? I don't know what he just did right now, but <laughs> apparently teleported with the elevator somehow. Don't break that door down. He's going to basically wipe everybody out. Alright, so we recruited him. Um, fan is off. We now toss. So, let's bring this door down finally. That guy is going back. Great. As long as he stays back there, I don't even care about him. Alright, so bring this down. I'm going to keep you... Oh, wait, wait. You know what we could do? We could have him sneak up on Homeboy back here. But we'll do that later. If we really have to. Alright, it's my zombie now. Let's turn overlords this side. And I want those overlords to start tossing Zambros across. You guys are going to die, right? Nope. They're in one piece. Break this down. Give us the exit. Okay. Hey, very good. Now these Zambros are just about destined to die over here, so I could just either turn a few into crawlers if I wanted to, or just sacrifice them for the DNA. That one just went splat. Alrighty. Now we have the explosion, so technically speaking, you could even blow up right here if I wanted to. If. Big if. Otherwise, let's get another couple of crawlers up here. So let me just crawl you up. Maybe even one more. We have a lot of sacrifices for DNA at the moment. Bring you guys up, and then everybody down here can just be sacrificed at this point. You guys will turn around and kill yourselves over here. Uh, I'm not sure if I want you guys to die just in case I want to do something else. Let me just keep everybody over here for now. Although a few of you can be sacrificed. That's cool. Alrighty. You kind of missed your jump here, buddy. Oh, cool. And that one's just stuck completely. Oh, and I can't sacrifice them either. Oh, okay, very nice. Well, you know, sometimes your zombies just get stuck in midair. Gravity, how does it work? Now, you're going to toss him over there, which is no good for me. And unfortunately, I already missed my... Damn, this guy getting stuck really just turned everything around for me. There is no way for me to turn you, right? No, you don't turn around. He's coming back down. You know what? Let's just beat the level. I wanted to get really fancy. And um, kill those guys. But then again, I don't have to kill anybody else. I I'm, I'm already done. All we have to do is blow up this guy and then get the crawler over there. So whatever. You know what? If I don't have to kill everybody, I won't. Mm. Crawler will go up and around. And the crawler was out there for a while, but he'll turn around over here and we're done. I know I have zombies over there. I could just toss them over here and... I could just toss a big mass over here and do that, I guess, but there's no point for me to kill the humans at this point. We just have to get out of here. So we're done. You might have to jump, or no, you don't have to jump, right? You can just go up over the wall straight up. Yeah, you're fine. Alrighty, cool. A bit more difficult, but we got it. The challenge was three minutes. See, that wasn't going to happen, especially not only am I coming into this one blind, but also I'm recording and talking at the same time. A lot harder than it looks. Alrighty, so we're done here. What is the next one? I'm gonna probably wrap it up with this episode anyway, but let me see what this is. Oh, is this... Is this the burger one? Oh, it might be the one with um, Ronald McDonald in it. Or he had like a different name, obviously, for copyright purposes, but... It is Burger Kill! <laughs> kill 35 humans in the challenge. Kill Gronald the Clown. I actually did kill that motherfucker off uh, on my beta run, so cool. 35 humans and kill Gronald the Clown. I wonder if he's a lot more difficult now. Probably is. We will wrap it up here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.